Hello, my name is Claude White, and um, last night, Mikey Garcia challenged Errol Spence for his IBF um, welterweight championship. In fact, he went up two weight classes to challenge Errol Spence, and Mikey Garcia, who normally is a wonderful boxer, and in fact, I'm going to be honest, I actually predicted that Garcia would start out very strong, but Spence would knock him out in the 10th round because I felt Spence was just too big. And I also thought that the fact that Garcia did jump up two weight divisions would hurt him for the simple fact that A, he did not take a fight prior to battling Errol Spence Jr. And B, that he would lose some power. Now, I was wrong on both counts. Errol Spence was not only the bigger, stronger fighter, he was the quicker fighter and the better boxer, much to the chagrin of one Mikey Garcia. And I really was, I have to give Garcia credit because A, he took the fight and he jumped up two weight divisions and he showed that he's tougher than a $2 stake because he took some hellacious body shots, hellacious shots to the head. Listen, and I think, to be quite honest, Spence was went a little easy on him the last couple of rounds. I mean, you could see it. But, I mean, he he definitely took him to the woodshed, so to speak. Um, he was magnificent. If I had to grade him um, on the old A plus to F scale, I would say he got an A. If it were from 1 to 10, I would give him... I, I'd give him an 8.5. He doesn't deserve a perfect grade because he should have knocked him out, in my opinion. He, I mean, he, he almost showed him too much respect. I mean, because you could tell that he liked him. But the problem also is... And I think he used it as motivation. A lot of people went against Errol Spence Jr. I mean, you heard guys like Sugar Ray Leonard, Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield. They were all choosing Mikey Garcia. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, I know once upon a time they gave a unanimous decision to Sugar Ray Leonard. And that was back in 87. I'll never forget it. And listen, even then, they were wrong. I mean, Sugar Ray started out like a house of fire, but he faded in the later rounds. Hagler was asserting his will. And to me, he definitely got robbed. And Hagler, if you remember, after that fight, never fought again. But they, this was a totally different animal. Errol Spence Jr., as of right now, in my opinion, is the pound-for-pound pound king. Now, I understand that there's going to be a lot of people clamoring for Terrence Bud Crawford, saying that he's the pound-for-pound pound king. And I like Terrence Crawford, don't get me wrong. But to me, Terrence Crawford loses a couple of points just by the sheer choice of opponent. Because Amir Khan hasn't done a damn thing in over 10 years. Let's face it. And Amir Khan is nowhere near the fighter that Mikey Garcia is. Not at this point of his career anyway. And I tell you, Errol Spence, his defense was on point. His jab, he, he kept that stick in his face. He was outstanding last night. I mean, he truly showed why he is the pound-for-pound pound king in the sport of boxing, in my opinion. Now, he's going to fight Manny Pacquiao next. He's going to destroy Pacquiao. I'm sorry. I mean, Pacquiao, listen, he beat Adrian Broner. You already know how I feel about Adrian Broner. I mean, that AB means about bullshit. I mean, let's face it. Broner only fights one minute out of a three-minute round, if you're lucky. And you know Errol Spence does not do that. And Errol Spence was razor sharp focused last night. And he's definitely going to be focused on Pacquiao. 
In fact, I'm going to go one step further. I'm going to predict that Errol Spence Jr. will retire with Manny Pacquiao when they fight in that very ring. Um, please like, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Claude White. Please take care and God bless. And you